so hello everyone in this video i will discuss the concept of electric flux and i will take this particular example in which we have to find the electric flux through the shaded circular region of radius capital r as shown in this figure so if you see this figure there is a shaded circular region and d distance above the center a point charge q is placed and we have to find flux through this region so we will first see what is electric flux so electric flux is defined by integral e dot d integral e dot d a to a particular surface now e gives the number of field lines per unit area so if you take surface integral with da this will give you number of field lines number of field lines passing through passing through surface s so this is this is for open surface if you calculate same thing for closed surface this is the flux through closed surface to any closed surface and that will be given by charge enclosed within that surface divided by epsilon and that is the gauss law this is the gauss law but in this question you have an open surface is given and you have to find flux through open surface so we will directly find e dot da on this surface so what we will do let us consider an elemental circular region and let's assume its radius is r this radius is small r and this width is dr this radius is a small r and let's assume this n cap is perpendicular to the surface so da over this surface we can write let's say r dr d phi n cap i am using cylindrical symmetry where phi varies from 0 to 2 pi so if you write the electric field let's consider field at this point this length is l and i am assuming this the direction to be l cap and let's assume this angle to be theta this angle is theta so electric field at this point is given by we can write e as 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q by l square and here direction will be l cap where this l is given by we can write this l to be l is under root r square plus and when you take e dot da you will get this term l dot n cap so let's write here l dot n cap also. so l dot n cap will be simply cos theta and this cos theta is given by this d by l and l is this value under root r square plus So now let us find flux phi e is given by this will be if you take e dot d a that will be one by four pi epsilon naught then you have q by l square is you can write it as r square plus d square and this Into l dot 
L dot N cap will give you cos theta. Cos theta is d by under root r square plus d square. d a will be given by r d r and d r. And this will be a double integral. So this is L dot N cap because we have to take e dot d a and this this is r d r d phi. So this r varies from 0 to capital R and phi varies from 0 to 2 phi. You have to find flux through this shaded circular region. So r varies from 0 to capital R and phi will be 0 to 2 pi in cylindrical symmetry. So now we have to calculate this value. So this we can write. Let's say this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. This term is common. Q into D and D phi will give you 2 pi. Integral D phi 0 to 2 pi is 2 pi. And finally you have to integrate R 0 to capital R and this is given by R dr by R square plus D square power 3 by so finally, we have to solve this integral. So let's use, let us consider, let r square plus d square is t square. New variable, substitution method. So if you differentiate this, you will get r dr is t. So now using this, we can write flux phi e is given by this value is q d by 2 epsilon naught, q d by 2 epsilon naught. Now when r is equal to 0, t is d. So this will be d and when r is equal to capital R, t is under root r is square plus t square. This will give you t dt by t q. So this becomes 1 by t square. So if you integrate this, finally you can write the flux phi e is given by this will be q v by 2 epsilon naught and this is d times under root r square plus d square this will be 1 by t square dt. So that is qd by 2 epsilon naught minus 1 by t d under root r square plus d square. So this is qd by 2 epsilon naught and this value is you can write 1 by d plus this will be minus 1 by r square plus. So now finally flux through this surface is given by q by 2 epsilon naught. This is 1 minus d by under root r square plus. So this is the flux through the shaded circular region. So this is q by 2 epsilon naught 1 minus d by under root this distance r square plus d square. So you can remember this result also sometimes we have to use it. So in this Question, we have learned the concept of electric flux through an open surface.